Brick feature walls are great for giving a room that wow factor while adding character and personality to a space. And the best part is you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on wallpaper to achieve this look. You can do it yourself with a bit of paint. And I'm going to show you how. I recently painted this feature wall. Now I'm going to do the exact same on this opposite wall. First things first, I'm going to move the furniture out and prep the wall for painting. Now brick feature walls are actually really good at hiding imperfections you might have in your walls. But if you do have larger patches like these ones, it is a good idea to patch them before you start painting. Now these are the materials we'll need for this project. So firstly, your paints. This feature wall doesn't use a whole lot of paint, so sample pots are a really great option. You can also go through any old paints you might have, leftover paints from previous projects. Uh, this is a great way to use them up. Next, we need our sponge and a scissors to cut it to size, a pencil and an eraser, a small brush, a container, and also a level. Now before I get started, I'm just going to protect the carpet here by laying some old towels down. You can also use a drop sheet, but if you don't have that, old towels work as well. Now we want our bricks to be straight. So what I'm going to do is scatter some lines along the wall using my pencil and the level so that we can use that as a guide when we're painting. Now I'm just cutting the sponge to the shape and size of a brick and I'm going to keep the leftover as I'll need it later. Now I'll be using a few colours for this wall but we're going to start with the base coat. So I'm using this light brown. I'm going to pour a little bit into this container, just enough to cover the bottom. You don't want to overfill it otherwise it gets very messy. And now for the fun part. I'm dipping the sponge into the paint, wiping off any excess paint just on the side of the container and then dabbing it onto the wall. It's best to start in the top corner. Now I'm just working my way down and across using the lines on the wall as a guide to keep the bricks straight. I do around 5 to 10 bricks before adding more paint to the sponge. They start to appear lighter as the sponge runs low on paint so for this reason I like to scatter them to prevent clusters of darker or lighter bricks. So I've just finished painting the full size bricks. So what we're going to do next is cut down our sponge to make smaller bricks to fill in these gaps at the end and also along the bottom of the wall. Now for this gap at the bottom here, I'm just going to cut my sponge again into a thin strip and then use a small paintbrush for touch ups. Now the base colour is done, it's time for the other colours. So I'm going to start with this dark brown, which is a darker shade than our base colour. Um, I'm going to pour a little bit into this container. You only need a little bit. And then I'm just going to cut a little bit of this sponge, which is left over what we had, and use that to apply it to the wall. Now I'm adding this darker shade of brown just in small sections on some of the bricks, just to add a little contrast and a little extra character. So I'm going in with this beautiful mustard colour next. I've just cut myself another piece of sponge. I'm going to do the same method as what I just did with the dark brown, but a little more scattered as I don't want the colours to be too overpowering. Now for the next two colours. I'm only going to do a few with these two. Now for the last colour, it's a black brown and this is the colour that's going to bring it all together. Now that the wall is finished and dry, I'm just going to go in with my eraser and get rid of all those pencil lines that we put in earlier. And there we have it, a beautiful brick feature wall that has instantly added character to this space. 